All right, good evening, everyone. Um, it is Sunday, what is this, August the 6th, uh, 2023. Uh, this is going to be the week ahead on the NASDAQ and the dollar index. Um, I, I'm kind of late to this video. I usually like to get this video out before the futures market opens, but obviously I've not uh, done that. Um, so I apologize for that. Uh, so in this video, we're going to be pretty brief about my call for the week into August 11th, 2023. So our prior week was a large black candle that traded uh, just basically to the open of this black candle from Monday, the 3rd of July, 2023. And we did, I, I would argue, okay, that the green candle that we just left when we traded below the open, we created uh, something of a bearish, uh, bearish order block. Now, if we take a one standard deviation move of that bearish, uh, that green candle and we project it lower, we get down to 15,065 evens, which aligns with some uh, some lows down here, some liquidity. And I think that would be a pretty reasonable uh, target for price to go and tag. Now, it has also been my experience that when you initially create a bearish order block like this, there is some amount of retracement. So I think it's, you know, it's very difficult for me to say at this point. Um, I would say that I am leaning to the sell side, just looking at the daily chart. Let's take a look at the weekly. We, sorry, the daily. You can see that the NASDAQ does have an undelivered portion of a fair value gap here. And I do think it's likely that the price will come back and tag it. So the high of that, the high of Friday's candle, I think is likely to be tagged at least, and that's 15,610 spot 25. So guys, I think that, that going into the start of the week, the NASDAQ is gonna to wanna to go and tag 15,610 spot 25. Um, just looking at this, being that there is a fair value gap above and a bear shorter block, I think it, it's even possible we trade to the midway point of that, which is 6, uh, 667 halves. Um, however, overall, guys, what I'm kind of looking at you know, in the future, right? maybe not this week, but kind of looking into the future, these two lows down here look ripe for the taking. So that low below 14,853 halves, that's looking pretty ripe for the taking. These three lows here, that low being at 15,063 halves, that's looking pretty ripe for the taking. However, just for the start of the week, the week of August the 11th, I do think we're going to trade higher. I think we're going to trade into this fair value gap. Um, we might not fully redeliver it, but I do think we at least tag the bottom side of it. But looking out kind of weeks into the future, I do think we're going to start taking out sell side liquidity. Guys, we also have we also have uh, equal lows down here, and that's down at 14425 three quarters. So we have sell side liquidity targets that the price might be in a hurry to go and grab. So I would be very nervous in terms of long-term longs. Like I would not try and swing trade the NASDAQ long right now. We've got a lot of sell side liquidity that needs to be taken out. Um, the market is obviously not in balance right now. We are, we're very net long. And so uh, at some point, I think we are going to just start s aggressively sweeping lows. Uh, when that happens, I'm not exactly sure. Could be Q3, could be Q4, could be this week, could be next week. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to do it. But when you see that price is starting to, to aggressively travel south, you know we have a lot of, of sell side liquidity targets. Um, and so those are something to look out for. Uh, however, I do think that the start of just this week, we're probably looking at coming back up initially. And then guys, let's take a look at the dollar index. The dollar index on the weekly chart, we're trading into a bearish order block. We rejected it. it, it I think the price is at least going to want to come up probably to 102 spot, 405. However, um, I don't think that the dollar index is done trading lower. Maybe. Um, we do have equal lows down here. It's kind of difficult for me to say. Um, I'm really not in a great headspace right now for long-term analysis, but I do always want to get a week ahead video out. So I'm going to keep it to the NASDAQ basically this time, guys. Um, I think that looking at our daily chart, we are likely to come and tag uh, 15,610 spot 25. I do think that we tag that. However, longer term, I'm looking at a lot of equal lows and sell side liquidity targets that I do think the market is going to aggressively start attacking um, at some point. Okay, guys, uh, that was my call here on the micro NASDAQ for the week of August 11th, 2023. I will be uploading more live trade, uh, trade sessions as well as ICT basics videos this week. God bless.